those who are already on board or about to join because your chief officer gonna definitely use ABC method to find compass arrow. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about compass error using azimuth of the sun. So actually this is important for all those who are already on board or about to join because your chief officer gonna definitely ask you to find compass error. So we are going to discuss a question which is already given in textbook. It's a, it's a solved example on page number one to one. So after watching this video, you can go and refer your textbook as well for your better understanding. So the question is, on 13th September 2008, India 23 degree 21 minutes south, 47 degree 18 minutes west, the observed azimuth of the sun was 046 degree, when chronometer showed 01 hour 8 minutes and 10 seconds. If chronometer error was 2 minutes and 12 seconds slow, okay, and the variation was 3 degree west, find the deviation of the compass for ship's head okay so uh, here we have to find the deviation but for this deviation the required uh, compass error so first we will find the correct date and time of GMT see here the chronometer is showing uh, the chronometer is showing 0 1 hour 8 minutes and 10 seconds but the chronometer doesn't show 24 hour format so we don't know that at GMT whether it's 1 am or 1 pm so we will take both the conditions we will assume both the conditions okay so we will write it in form of 13 hours as well okay now we will apply the error so uh, the chronometer error is slow okay chronometer error is slow so whenever chronometer error is slow you have to add it to the chronometer reading so we will add chronometer error that is 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Similarly here we will add 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Both, both of the side all the other values will be the same one. Okay, Just we have changed 0, 1 hour and 13 hour because we are assuming it. Here we are assuming 1 am. Here we are assuming 1 pm. Now by applying this error first you will get the time of GMT. So the GMT time here, the GMT time will be 1 hour 10 minutes and 22 seconds. While here, the GMT time will be 13 hour 10 minutes and 22 seconds. Now we have to find the exact date of GMT. So for that, we will convert this GMT into LMT first. So how to convert GMT into LMT? So you have to, uh, you have to use LIT here, okay? Uh, you have to add or subtract LIT depends on whether the longitude is easterly or westerly. So now how to convert longitude into LIT. So I have already discussed in one of my video that LIT is equals to longitude divided by 50. Okay. So when you, when you will apply this formula here, the, uh, the LIT which is actually westerly as the given longitude is in is westerly. So you will get 3 degree 9 minutes and 12 seconds. Okay. So we will write 3 hours 9 minutes and 12 seconds and we will subtract. Okay. Whenever the longitude is westerly we will have, we have to subtract the LIT from GMT to get LMT. Now similarly here we will subtract 0 3 hours 9 minutes and 12 seconds. Now Now, after applying this, you will get LMT. Okay, so LMT. Uh, so when you will subtract 0 3 hours from 1 hour, you will get 22 hours. This one will be 1 minute and this one will be 10 seconds. Similarly, here you will get 10 hours, 1 minute and 10 seconds. Now, the given date in the question was for LMT. Okay, so here the day is 13th, similarly here the day is 13th, but we got this date 
by subtracting 3 hours from GMT which means that GMT is ahead of LMT. So here it will be day 14th. Here it will be day 14th. But here we got this day by subtracting 3 hours from 13 hours which means the day is same. So here the day will be 13th only. So we got two different days and time for GMT. So we write them here. GMT is uh, so for the first condition GMT is 14th day 0 1 hour 10 minutes and 22 seconds and here GMT is 13th day 13 hour 10 minutes and 22 seconds so we got this two date and times for GMT see we calculated this from this question but nowadays on board you can find GPS and you can directly find the exact date and time of GMT from uh, through that GPS. So you don't have to apply this for to get the correct date and time of. So now uh, see we are using azimuth of the sun. So by default you can see that on 14th day during these hours during these hours sun won't be visible. Okay. So by default you can say that the the exact date and time of GMT according to this condition will be this one. Okay. So we will note it here. GMT is day 13th, 13 hours, 10 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay. Now we will see how to use ABC method to find compass error. So uh, these are the formulas for A, B and C. But to use these formulas, first we will have to find some values. So the first one is GHA. So we will find GHA of 13th September 13 hours. Okay. So for this, you have to go to your nautical almanac. Okay. Daily pages of your nautical almanac. Okay. So here you can see 2008. September 13th according to the given question and according to our, GM, uh, our GMT. So this column is for date and this uh, and the next one is for hours. So on 13th day for 13 hours the uh, GHA of sun is uh, GHA of sun is 16 point uh, 16 degree 0 3.9 minutes. So it's 16 degree and 0 3.9 minutes. Now we will apply increment. Okay. So for increment, we have to use this minute and seconds. So we have to find increment for 10 minutes and 22 seconds. So incre uh, increment for 10 minutes and 22 seconds, you will have to go to last page is of your article almanac, which are for increments and corrections. There you will find page of for 10 minutes. Okay. So in the column of 10 minutes, you have to find seconds. So our seconds are 22. So you have to use 22 seconds for uh, now uh, increments for sun and planets. So for 22 seconds on 10 minutes, it's 2 degree 35.5 minutes. So it's 2 degree and 35.5 minutes. That increment is always added to the actual GHA that you find through uh, daily pages of nautical Almanac. So the actual GHA after applying increment of GMT will be 18 degree and this one will be 39.4 minutes. Now you have to find LHA. So the question is how to find LHA from GHA. So you have to either you have to subtract your longitude from GHA or you may have to add your longitude to the GHA depends on the direction of your longitude. So here our longitude is westerly. So we will subtract it from GHA. Okay. So as our longitude is westerly. We will subtract it from GHA which is 47 degree 18 minutes. Okay. So you will get your LH. Okay. So while apply when you will apply this on your calculator, you will see the value is 331 degree 21.4 minutes. Okay. So we got our LH that is 331 degree, okay, 331 degree to one point four minutes. Now using this LHA we have to find P. So there is a condition for P. Okay. Now if okay, this is important that if LHA is less than 
180 degree then LHA is equals to P okay but if LHA is greater than 180 degree then P is equals to 360 degree minus LH okay so according to these conditions our LHA is greater than 180 degree so to get the value of P which we will use in the formula of AB so we, uh, we will subtract LHA from 360 degree so our P will be 360 degree minus 331 degree 21.4 minutes okay so when you will apply this you will get the value of p is equal to 28 degree 36.4 minutes okay so value of p is 28 degree 36.4 minutes now there is a one more term which is declination in the formula of p so now you find declination so to get the declination again you have to go to the daily pages of your nautical almanac okay so on the same page of uh, nautical almanac okay 13th day of september uh, in the same row of 13 hours uh, first we got gha now the next uh, column is for declination so here it's uh, the declination is 3 degree and 31 minutes 31.6 minutes north so you will write 3 degree and 31.6 minutes north and then here we have to apply d correction okay so for d correction in the same column of your nautical almanac from where you got this value you have to check the whole column of uh, just below this value okay that the whether the values are increasing or decreasing if these values are decreasing so this value of d will be in negative so here we will write minus 1.0 as you can see this value of d is 1.0 and the values after uh, after the value which we considered are decreasing so we have applied this negative sign here okay now we have to find the value of d d correction at 1.0 so again you will go to the pages of increments and corrections uh, and on the same page of 10 minutes okay and the same page of 10 minutes you will find uh, this d uh, v or d correction so our value is 1.0 so for 1.0 the correction is 0 0.2 so we will subtract 0.2 minutes from here as we have negative sign in D correction. So the final declination you will get will be 3 degree and 31.4 minutes north. Now here you will write, uh, you have to write the value of latitude as well because you, have, you, you will get the use of it. So the value of declination, uh, sorry latitude is 23 degree 21 minutes south okay so we got some important values from this calculation first is our declination okay which is 3 degree 31.4 minutes north and a value of our p which is 28 degree 36.4 minutes okay so we can apply these values here now okay so now Now, to find the value of A, formula is tan lat. So, tan into lat. Latitude is 23 degree, 21 minutes south. Okay. So, and tan P. So, value of P is 28 degree. 36.4 minutes so from here we will get the value of a is equals to 0 0.79 okay here you don't have to write the sign okay now uh, we got the value now how to name a so already always a is named opposite to the latitude okay so a is named opposite to the latitude in the very rare case when you will find that the value of your LHA is between 90 degree to 270 degree at that time you have to name the a as same as your latitude but that will be in very rare case
now value of b so the formula of b is 10 dec 10 into uh, 10 declination so declination value of declination was 3 degree 31.4 minutes upon sine p so sine and our p was 28 degree 36.4 minutes so the value of b will be 0. 13 degree and you have to name as same as your declination so it will be north now next is c so how to find c so for c there is a rule that is same name for c same name names you have to add and different name you have to subtract okay in the same names you have to add and you have to retain the name in different names you have to subtract and you have to keep the name of the larger value so here the values uh, values of the the names of a and b are same so we will add okay this is for the same names or different names are for a and b okay so the, well, uh, the names of a and b are same so we will add so c will be here the c will be a plus b so it will be 0 0.79 north plus 0 0.13 north okay so you will get the value is Zero point nine two north. Okay. Now using this value of C, we'll apply it here to get the value of ten azimuth. Okay. So now ten azimuth is equals to one upon value of C that is zero point nine two into cos land that is 23 degree and 21 minutes okay so you will get tan azimuth is equals to 1.183 so when you will get the tan uh, when you will change the side of tan it will get tan inverse 1.183 putting this value on your calculator you will get the value which is 0. Point, oh, sorry 0. 0.4 9.8 degrees okay we have to name it so uh, the prefix of this azimuth will be uh, as same as the value uh, as same as the name of c so it will be north and the suffix for suffix you have to check your lha so our lha was 331 degree so whenever the lha is more than 180 degree you have to name it east if it's less than 180 degree you have to name it west okay so now it is in the first quadrant so this will the same will be the true so 0.8 degree is the true so we applied the names to get the true okay now using this true we will find the compass error by comparing it with this value so so compass azimuth was 0, 4, 60 and the true azimuth is 0, 4, 9.8 degree okay so from here we can say that the error will be 3.8 degrees and the name will be east why east because according to the thumb rule error is compass least or vice versa so here the compass is least so error will be east now using variation here as the variation was 3 degree west you will get deviation as well now again according to the thumb rule okay opposite names you have to add them so it will be 6.8 degrees and you have to retain the name of the larger value so the deviation is 6.8 degree east so this is how we got the deviation okay using error and variation so this was the uh, this was the method to use a b c for find, uh, to find compass error and using compass error you can find the deviation of the of the compass for that ships have 
So I hope you liked the video. So please click the like button, share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.